Hi, this is Dark Shades, and this is part two of Is Cheating a Dumpable Offence? Well, to be honest, it all depends whether or not you are willing to give, forgive and whether or not you would take him back. Because it's fine saying, oh, you're going to dump someone because they've cheated on you. But if you're in turmoil because you love them so much, what's the point? You know, it's hard being betrayed because that's how you feel. You feel totally betrayed. And some people, when they just imagine their partner with somebody else, it just sends shivers down their, their, their spine. They just cannot even look at their partner. I've seen women go absolutely crazy at the thought of their partner sleeping with someone else. I don't know if you saw Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Well, this guy, he he was living with a woman and she looked reasonably enough. I think she was doing a hell of a lot for him. Anyway, he decided to want this young teen. And a lot of these men, they go through this midlife crisis where they decide that they want to go out there and pull some young chick. And it's not that it's not even like them look good, you know, but they want to pull this young chick that makes them feel good and who validates them. So this guy in um, Diary of a Mad Black Woman brings this young chick in and kicks this woman he's been living with out onto the street and with nothing. At the time, I think he was really successful. Anyway, in the end, he hurt himself and he was, he was wheelchair bound. When, when the woman he had cheated with found out he had no use and he was in a wheelchair, she didn't want to know. She went off. And who ends up looking after him? The one who he kicked out on the street. And when he realised that she was the only one who would take care of him, he just started going, oh, I'm so grateful, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, she gave him the run for his money, boy. And I'll never forget, I thought it was a bit cruel. I couldn't have done it personally. I know I was hurt, but I prefer to just walk off and leave him in all honesty. But she threw him in this big swimming pool. He couldn't even swim and he was like glug, glug, glugging. And when she realised that him nearly, him nearly dead, she dragged him out or she just bring him head above water. But she treated him like crap. And when you cheat, you have to think of the repercussions. Those are really, really drastic repercussions. But you have to think of the repercussions before you even cheat. Is it worth it? Does it matter? Am I just cheating for a fling? And Am I cheating because I don't love my partner anymore? So it doesn't really matter if I get found out. The thing is with relationships and cheating is the trust element. Trust it takes years to build and seconds to break down. And it's no point, you know, you can try and try, but if that trust can't be real built and it will take years and sometimes people just haven't got the patience when they've done something wrong and they have to start accounting for every move they make, it doesn't seem worth it because there's no way you're going to cheat on a woman and things go back to normal. She's going to want, if you go at the front door, she's going to want to know where you're going, what time you're coming back. You know, she's going to be calling you every five minutes. It's not worth it. So if you are going to cheat, think about it. And that goes for male and female, especially if you've got a good man. You're going to cheat on the man. Is it worth it? If he decides he's had enough. And sometimes when you go and cheat, it ain't even worth the, what you waste your time and go and do. It's not even worth it. 
So sometimes you're not even it's not even a question of whether or not you're going to dump the person. Sometimes when a person cheats, they've already decided that they're going to dump you. They've decided that the person who they were cheating with you with is a better version of you, is better than you in every way. And they don't want you anymore. What do you do then? Are you going to sit and think, oh, you know, I wish I'd done this. I wish I'd done that. I wish I hadn't um, locked him out of the bedroom so many times. I wish I hadn't given him a, I wish I'd given him a piece a bit more often. You know, what are you going to do? So it is important, this is a short video, but it is important that you, when you're thinking about infidelity and cheating, that you do realise that trust is a very hard thing to rebuild. And so when you're thinking about going through that door and you know that you put on your nice clothes and you smell sweet and you know you're going to go and see another woman, just because you, you're looking for validation and... You know, you, you want your ego stroked. That's usually the only reason why you do it. You want somebody to tell you, oh, you're so great and you're so nice. And these people, they don't even do it anyway. Or some half of them are pretending. Have you heard of those people who pretend? So half of them are pretending and they just want to be treated nicer. Because you've got somebody at home and you're out of touch out there, you end up spending money on somebody who isn't even interested in you. And you leave what who is interested in you at home. And just because that person isn't showing you all the time how much they love you, it doesn't mean that they don't love you. And you know that they love you. So I'm going to stop it here. And I'm going to leave it up to you. Is cheating a dumpable offence? Depends who's cheating, who they're cheating with. Depends how much you love them. It depends on a lot of factors. It's not black and white. So, I'll leave you to wallow in that. Ciao for now.